Good evening, everyone. All right, so while I was out on vacation, um, I was able to hypnotize one of my uh, n cousins. Uh, I guess he'd be a nephew, wouldn't he? Uh, Nephew-in-law. Anyhow, uh, his name's Dominic, and he's got this friend whose name is Bubba. I don't know his actual name, but um, he heard that I did hypnosis, and he saw me hypnotizing uh, Dominic. So uh, Dominic told him, hey, try this, try this out. So um, the video, it's it's got a lot of background music or noise going on. So I'm going to try and, and walk through what is actually happening and explain on the video what I'm doing. And, yeah, so, I mean, this is real-life hypnosis. It's not a tiny chat hypnosis, but uh, I haven't posted anything for tiny chat hypnosis in a while. thought, you know what, it, it needs something added. So, here we go. Um, let's see here. All right, so, first off, uh, I'm just kind of explaining it to him, going through the process of imagining the four different states, alpha, beta, theta, delta, And all right, so you you're, imagine you're in a seven lane rush hour traffic. You're in the far left hand lane. You need to get over the right hand lane. What's going on? You're gripping the steering wheel. You're looking in the mirrors. You're signaling. All right, getting out to a, a beta stage. This is where it's normal two lane traffic. You can look around a little bit. Turn on music. Not concentrating on driving. By the way, if you're watching this, um, this like it, it, this is actually a really good one, just because the like he's a big guy. So you'll see later on in the video um, when I start taking him down, taking him down, taking him down. He's he's big, so he's like got some pressure on me whenever I start to take him into hypnosis, and I can't hold him up. So I end up actually having to uh, have him sit down for the second part of the hypnosis. All right, I, I'm going to go ahead and... All right, this is boring. This is the boring stuff. All right. Oh, come here, come here. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. I'm explaining what theta stage is. Oh, what happened there? Okay. Oh. Explaining the uh, daydream state, and the, that's the state that we're trying to take them to. The reason that you walk into another room, you forget what's there. So... All right, so now we do the suggestibility test. 45 degrees. There goes the touch. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm building rapport. I'm, I'm doing the, the thing that explains what he's going to feel, explains what he's going to go into, and that he's familiar with this. Notice the touch. That reinforces. And it goes closer. Sticking in place. Sticking tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. Begin to press and push and stick. As all your fingers begin to press and push and stick. As if they're I don't know if that's coming up very good on the video. As you feel your palms pressing tighter and tighter and tighter. And tighter. So tight as somebody's glue gets as it becomes one mass. As you imagine this inside your mind happening. Becoming tighter and tighter and tighter. And you could try to pull them apart and you'll find them tighter and tighter and tighter as you begin to try. It's when it begins to take. So, what they had to come in to do was come in. Oh, he pulled them apart and they went back together. There they go. It was all group copper. Don't place your All right, you're kind of a big guy. So left-handed or right? We didn't know the difference. He said left-handed, and I grabbed the right hand. That's the right hand. Oops. Realize we had that. So. This is a pattern interrupt. So a normal pattern that should have been the shaking of the hand, interrupting it, bringing it up above the eyes, doing an eye focus. 
and the same thing. I give him the suggestion that that hand has just become like a magnet, and it's pulling closer to his, closer and closer to his face. And this is this is a standard technique, interrupting that pattern, taking over the subconscious mind. If something should have happened here, now what's happening? And then giving him subtle suggestions until that eventually sticks. From our storage tanks, we were feeding water into the hospital. Oh. There we go. Turn that down some. So basically what's going on right now is it's, it is getting closer and closer, but he's still resisting a little bit. So I just tell him to look for that change in focus, and I force his eyes to actually change focus by bringing the hand in front of the eyes. Um, what this does, it, it begins to reinforce as you stand there, that hand's going to get closer. I told him a truth. And then I told him something about his imagination. It's going to get closer because he thinks the truth is bound to the imagination. And sleep right the way down. There he goes. Again, with the the touch, the um, I, I guess it's called promiscuous touch. Not promiscuous. That's the wrong word for it. Ugh. I forgot what the actual name of it's called. But that is reinforcing. <clears throat> Same thing like when you console somebody, hey man, are you alright? Putting that hand on the shoulder, stuff like that. And that's what's happening right now. I'm giving him the, suge the suggestions, walking him through the entire time. Um, what's going to start happening is I'm going to start rocking him. And he just kind of throws his balance, keeps it going. And then I start relaxing him down, starting with the head, the neck, the back, all the boring stuff. So. Let's go ahead and skip forward a little bit. I'll try not to skip over it. All right, about this point, he's getting down to like the very last step. I've grabbed his arms. I uh, felt if they're whoa, felt if they're loose, limp, relaxed, all that good stuff. And hold on, we're getting closer, getting closer. There he goes. And he is a big guy. So on the very last step, I gave him a zero, dropped the stairs out, and literally it, it felt, he, he was heavy. I'm like, oh, God, I can't do this. Maybe, hold on, hold on. Oh, I bring him back out. Um, I give him the, uh, the suggestions just like um, fraxation. I start to explain fraxation to him. And down he goes. There you go. <laughs> and you can hear my kids in the background going, That's my dad! Do you hear that? That's my dad. So, it was pretty cool. Uh, it, and everybody else is, is sitting here watching this kind of go on, but they, they're still having their conversations. They're, you know, talking to each other. And I have to deepen them here. Like... I really have to take him into a deeper state because he's resistant. He just keeps resisting a little bit. And then once I see that, that his reaction on the third one, where I, I keep him up, I'm like, I, I can't hold him up like this, so I actually have him go and have a seat. There he goes. And deeper, and deeper, and deeper. As he goes down, there we go. Okay. So it's at this point I do the hand drop technique. Um, what this technique is, is you have them apply pressure to the hand and you kind of move it around a little bit. This doesn't really do anything, but it's getting, giving you a, a feel for how resistant they are. If they're not pushing or not listening to you, this doesn't work. So, and right here, all the way down he goes. Just drops straight into that relaxation state. Now, I really enjoy that part, so I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I surprised uh, everybody around me. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking him down, back into that, that relaxation state, back into the hypnosis state, and I'm giving him his room, giving him an explanation, and then I'm going to give him the suggestion that he's going to forget the number three. Oh, uh, I'm doing the balloon technique. <laughs> I got my, my whole hypno creeper voice going on. 
So what he's, what he's doing right now is he's imagining that I'm tying balloons to his left arm. And with every one that I tie, it's going to get bigger and bigger and start to float, lift, fly into the air. It just sounds like background noise. Ah, oh, this is going to be a horrible video. Like and subscribe down below. Um, <laughs> there it goes. What this does, this technique, because I've performed the fraxation and because I've done a deepener, I'm going to do a reinforcer. Like, this is his imagination, his subconscious taking over, imagining those balloons going up. And what I'll do is I'll give him the suggestion that when those balloons pop, your hand will drop and you will drop even deeper. So there's going to be a truth. His hand's going to drop because his imagination has taken over. He will go deeper because I gave him the suggestion. So it, it just relaxes him even more. This pushes past any last resistance that happens. And it gives me that last little edge that I'm going to need to... Um, do memory manipula manipulation. Uh, I can't hear it. In just a moment, I'm going to bring you back into the room, but you're going to forget the number three. As if it's been wiped from your memory. Like that thing you forgot to remember, or that thing that you remember to forget. So, that's the reinforcement there. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to control this at the same time, doing this over here, and it's like, ah. Notice the confusion on his face. This is a normal reaction. Six and six is twelve. From this point forward, I just give him the uh, full relaxation, full body massage. Last in suggestion. When you wake up, you're going to feel like you had to do it. Yeah, I've never charged with any of that. Four hours, four hours, five hours, five hours, four hours. I can never remember how many hours I give somebody. Like three hours, five hours, ten hours, twenty hours. Anyhow, I start to bring the energy back into his feet, back into his legs, and I do the whole walk up from there. But uh, I figured you guys never see me do the like street magic stuff, so... Not street magic, street hypnosis stuff. So I figured I would upload a video showing you an actual physical hypnosis uh, out there on the street and doing those things. Um, here he is. How do you feel? Like for me, if I go any base in Southern California. So. That was my hypnosis of Bubba. Thank you, Bubba, for allowing me to take you into the state of hypnosis. Uh, I have done a lot of others that haven't been filmed. Um, I've done a lot of um, just, like, messing around hypnosis, where you make people forget numbers, not taking them down into the state, but doing NLP, like non-linguistic programming. Um, little things like that. So if you like this video, if you comment and subscribe, let me know down in the comments, and just, you know, have a good time. <laughs> Good night, everyone.